Hello, my name is Tad Douse and I'm the director of the National Robotics Challenge. Uh, we're here today at our Marion Coliseum. We have over a thousand students from 10 states. We have elementary school through college level students. We hear a lot today in school about testing. And when we talk about testing, we're usually talking about paper tests, which aren't real exciting, in my opinion. Uh, here at the National Robotics Challenge, we get to do real tests. So if you're a student or an advisor and you'd like to get some real tests for your students where they can be involved in building things, designing things, and testing them in a competitive setting, we think the National Robotics Challenge is a place for you. Will Osbold, I'm currently competing in the uh, Top of the Hill Challenge, and this is our robot. Its name is Tourette's because it shakes like crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm Parker Ricky, and I'm Jared Tuttle, and I'm Austin Whipple, and we're all working on a vending machine right now at the Marion Coliseum. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like enraged competition. It's friendly. It's fun. We're not here to win. We're here to experience and to learn. My cue. Uh, group members decided on to uh, make a sumo Frankenbot because of a robot where they made a long time ago that really looked like Frankenstein. And because of this uh, design, we've decided to dub this Mini Frankenbot. It's going to drive and it's going to, it has its little whacker in the front to whack the hockey puck around. The math competition here is buying a robot and setting it up with a calculator on calculating all your angles and distances that you gotta travel. Their first obstacle is knocking the ball off the top without hitting the stand. Then they need to stop in each of the three squares, then go around the Pentagon and flash a light each time. It starts out in like inches and then the translator here makes it in centimeters and then the step motor down here makes it run and like it can pivot and turn and then it goes forward and backwards and it turns in degrees. We're from Ben Logan Schools and that's in Belfowen and we built our robot to do the mini sumo challenge. Then we use sonar to detect the other robots and just a light sensor to see if we're in bounds or not. Hi, I'm John Larkin. I'm judge of the mini sumo competition this year. Uh, the object of the game with the mini sumo is to push your opponent out of the ring, similar to the big sumo wrestlers in China and Japan. Uh, today we're going to be running three kilogram monsters up against uh, each other in a uh, four foot ring. Start. The robot maze competition requires the entrance to build a robot that can negotiate a maze. Uh, there are two types of robots that are used. They use a tactile robot competition which allows uh, sensor whiskers on the robot to find the walls to negotiate the maze. And then there's a non-tactile which requires the uh, participants to program the robot to negotiate the maze without touching the walls. What's our robot's name? Racer. Racer. Why do we call him that? Because he's very fast. fast. I'm Kendall Shepard from the Four Cities Educational Compact based in Wadsworth, Ohio. And uh, we're doing the Swept Away competition, which is a competition in which we build a robot out of the VEX kit, which can lift uh, two size balls. You have like a soccer green ball and an uh, orange football over a, a wall to see which team can score the most points. robot competition this year is uh, we have a field here you can see and it's basically playing hockey and you're trying to score a goal so there's four teams or four members uh, try to score the puck and part of the rules is you can't beat up on the other team So the top of the hill, the idea is to pick up ping pong balls off of the uh, small pedestals in each corner. They have four balls that they have to be 
uh, picking up and put on the larger pedestal that's in the center of the ring there. Uh, they get three minutes to do that to try to get all four of them up there. Um, if it, after four minutes we don't have four or three minutes we don't have four balls up there, then they go into overtime basically, and the first one to, to get one up there wins the competition. Hi, I'm Lewis Freeman. Uh, I'm from Toledo Technology Academy, and our project this year was a quadruped, which is a four-legged robot. Our whole goal this year was our school hasn't been able to completely make a quadruped that walks and all that stuff. So our project this year was to actually get one that would work properly. It separates ferrous metals from non-metals from non-ferrous metals. I'm Josh Stewart from Ridgedale Junior High School and uh, this is my robot. He's supposed to compete in the K-9 Companion Challenge. Hi, we're doing K-9 Companion competition. The robot will leave the base and go and do assigned tasks. Then the robot needs to follow along the muddy trail that the robot is following at the current time that the dog has made. And as it follows, it's considered cleaned up. Uh, the pick and place today is the students have to, there's 36 blocks. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, they have to spell out NRC for National Robotics Competition. Um, they're based on their accuracy, they're based on their programming time. Um, if they misplace a block, it doesn't sit fully down in its proper seat. They get a, a 10 minute deduction for that. It's a three hour competition. I mean, well, I've been doing this since I was in sixth grade, and then, so it's the first year I've been here, so it's, we're doing really good. Yeah, hectic is a good <laughs> word. Frustrating. Once in a lifetime. Frustrating. Fun. Awesome. Great. It was fun and exciting. Fun. Yes. I would agree with that. Frantic. Definitely frantic. Hectic. We haven't done anything yet. <laughs> We've it's tried a lot many of different things. Yeah, it's lots of <laughs> Troubleshooting. We'll put it that. Tr troubleshooting is probably the one word. Early mornings and late nights. Interesting. Uh, fun. Hectic. Stressful, I guess. Awesome. Terrific. Oh.